What is up everyone, this is Ken from Cybercon and welcome again for another video as I show you the walkthrough of this bad boy, Agala. Which happened to have a goal of hunting that bad boy of a malware lurking on your system. You will witness the capability of this tool as it performs network monitoring. And now that we have that out of the way, you already know, cue the intro. Real-time monitoring of the system's network state by displaying the live connections of a system to other hosts. You will see the illustration of connections and be able to identify the traffic's protocol, may it be TCP, ICMP, or UDP. Once the traffic has been analyzed, Netmon will be able to provide the feedback if traffic is clean or bad. The indicator of evaluating a certain network traffic is by its IP reputation and port utilized. Any malicious IP or ports used in a traffic would be triggered as malicious. An algorithm that would mine data from the open. I have developed a tool that would collate all the malicious IPs and domains and put it in a database and output that as a text or CSV file. For ports, we all know which has a suspicious service, right? So I gathered all those malicious ports, which when executed, will trigger an alert. Well, Netmon refresh every second. This is a feature that will improve on to give the future users the best monitoring tool. We just made a step up. Real-time monitoring with real-time feedbacks, a fast traffic evaluation. Netmon has two interfaces. Interface 1, which focused more on port services evaluation. Yes, there are IP or domain evaluations involved, but this interface just specializes on service. Interface 2 is more on the IP or domain evaluation. We can always run them both to have the best experience. This tool is still on its first version. I have crafted a lot of features for the second version, so you better watch out. So in this walkthrough, we'll have three scenarios. The first scenario, a real-time run. I will show you the feel of a real-time monitoring on the system by giving you a legitimate traffic from two programs running its process. In the second scenario, I'll show you a sample of suspicious traffic. This time, a program that executes a malicious process by making use of a malicious port. And for the last scenario, the third scenario, is more on a malware process. We'll run a malware program that communicates with malicious source IP. So, and now that we have that, I think it's time to enter the dragon. I mean, the Aguila. So, so let's enter yes here. Okay. So in order for us to start the process, we need to uh, to type in netmon. Then we are given the option which interface should we use. So, so right now for our first scenario, we utilize interface 1. So input in 1. Then we are given the option to which interface should we use. So right now we have 1. Then here we go. Then we run our program for test. Kidoki. We have here the perfect example of two hosts executing process from a certain port. The client here and the server here. Program that listens to a legitimate port which is this one. So right now they are performing uh, the process or task. So we can see here tasks are done as what they're supposed to. And as we go back on our monitoring tool you can see here traffic that are legitimate. Let's stop the monitoring first for us to uh, provide you a walkthrough of, uh, of this feature. So to do that, we have to perform a uh, keyboard interrupt, which is a uh, control C. So as you can see here, we have the notification um, that the monitoring has been interrupted. 
and you, you have the choice if you wanted to go back to mid to menu or not so right now um we are going to uh check if this two processes here as is detected by our tool some logs here you can see here that the traffic has been identified and evaluated as a clean traffic we can now say the traffic monitored is uh, is clean as what it's supposed to because and as you know that port 999 is safe and uh, known as being a reserved port so it should not do any harm bringing down on what we have here we have the raw packet this is where um the raw data from a certain network traffic has been pulled out yes i'm certain port here this one is a google domain it's a good traffic the goal of this scenario is just to show you how agilas netmon operate so yeah since this two processes is legitimate our tool did get the job done and not only did get the job done but it evaluated this traffic as well and confirmed that these two processes running right now is indeed a clean traffic so going back here so if you put a no it would go back to what interface you want to use so say you wanted to use one again it just performs its monitoring control c again let's go back to the menu options okay and now we're back let's proceed with the second scenario in the second scenario um i'll show you a suspicious traffic this time i will show you a program that executes a malicious process by utilizing a malicious port all right to show you the folder so this will be our two programs right here the program listens to a malicious port thus giving you a suspicious traffic so we are going to run the server first okay and now that the server is running it's listening on uh, port 31 so let's open the the client and this one will be our client and now that these programs are running we will monitor our network traffic and see if we can detect these as malicious so we'll run it we'll run in netmon again okay then one again because we're concerned with the ports here all right so um we must have a source port 31 as our monitoring tool is running which we will um go through in a bit to give you some idea of what port 31 is so uh, let's, let's check this port through um speedguide.net so port 31 is for msg authentication right so there are times that this is this one is flagged as a uh, malicious port because this has been used okay. by hackers but as a trojan yeah that is why port 31 was somehow tagged as a, as a suspicious or malicious port once utilized as a service so going back with our program here so let's halt this monitoring for now okay so uh let's see destination port must be 31 so let's look for anything yeah this one as you can see here we have the source and destination as our local host then the source port for its listening to port 31 and the destination port is this 63619 so the raw packet is um shown as you as you see and the pid was um, also identified and yeah ip evaluation is is a good ip for and the port service evaluation is um is malicious because the source port is a malicious the reason here is that port 31 belongs to a malicious port list so yeah to see um it efficiently showed that this traffic is suspicious so we have another here so th the, by the way destination port 63619 so let's check here there's any 63619 port yeah 63619 so here you go we have 63619 so this um this traffic here has been identified so 
for another one we have 57570 so oh let's the upper one so yeah we have here this one this produces a uh, destination port 5750 and still also same result source port this is Malaysia port port 31 belongs to a Malaysia port list and we also have this um, yeah, yeah 104 don't have any problem with this one because port is destination port is 443 so port services must be good and the IP evaluation is good so what you have been no so if you notice something um once there's a detection our tool will uh will identify the root cause of such alert why is it detected as a as a suspicious or uh, malicious traffic the reasoning behind that already printed on our tool so that would be a great help to our fellow investigator right there or cybersecurity who would really benefit on this tool case number two is done here so we have successfully evaluated the traffic well and yeah goal has been done for scenario number two and let's go to scenario number three our third scenario it which is a uh, malware process we will produce a program that will execute a certain malware process so this program communicates with a malicious remote source so we have here the third scenario okay let's exit this for now so here is our program right now so yeah it's a simple socket program that would um that would ping a certain uh, malicious uh this is a malicious um website chillcorona.com so to give you an idea of this we are going to check this through virus total so yeah this is from fortinet it is a phishing phishing site and from force point it's a suspicious site so once this process has been executed i think our program must detect this one as a malicious process so since um we are, we are concerned here with the malicious web server so we are going to use interface 2 so we are concerned more of the remote ip connection and its reputation two so now that this, that has been running so let's have a rerun of our malware so let's run this bad boy right here and let's see how malicious this can get okay the process has been the process is now running so um, this must have been identified no traffic has been detected so as you can see here some connection with Amazon which is a clean traffic still haven't um, received any pockets clean traffic one nice once again so see here both are running Connection to Facebook because my Facebook is open. Alright, I see that. So we have the third process already executed. And there you go. As you can see, the monitoring was stopped for it identified a malicious traffic real time. We can see that this IP has been resolved to myshopify.com as the domain entry and we have the representation of this traffic that is local from our local to remote that means that we are having a ping traffic we are having a remote communication with a suspicious or phishing host so we have here the feedback also it says that the identified destination host is malicious you just seen what Agilus network monitoring functionality and I hope you get something out of this tool. If you wanted to secure your environment and try this tool out, give us a call or message us. 
and if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe to this channel and our facebook page as well this is ken signing out <laughs>